Now we're starting to get a lot more geometry in our scene. Let's go ahead and retopple the horns. So we're talking about these little horns in the back and then also this big tooth on the front. So we want to have the horns as our live surface. So we'll go ahead and make that live. And then we can come in and start to retopple that. Now, if we want to, we can go ahead and take the high head and turn that off, take our game head. We can either leave it in or we can turn it off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and then extend our geometry down uh, past it so it kind of goes down into it. So let's go ahead and take our game head. So now we can go into our modeling toolkit, quad draw, and we can start working away. So let me go ahead and make sure that our symmetry is turned on. We'll turn that on and we'll just make that world X. And then I just wanna make sure that I'm able to get the shape that we want here. So we have, can have a couple kind of on the top there. Okay, and you probably wanna have a line running down the middle. So even if you're not able to get that point right in the middle, you can always snap it together and that'll tell you exactly where that center point is. Or you might be able to get it right on the center there. So I would go in and just create this central ridge and come all the way down to the bottom, okay? And then looking at this, you really, you're gonna need a little bit more geometry in there to get that exact. And so I'll come in and maybe add a little bit more kind of coming up to the top, coming down to this ridge here. And then we can start to kind of work our way down, kind of again, going at the sort of the high points here. Now, as we start to get, you know, this distance, you're gonna, you try to span that with one polygon like we're doing here, it's, uh, it's gonna look really flat. It's not really gonna look the way that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dividing things up a little bit more. And right now, again, like I did before, I'm starting with kind of a, a nice even grid. We can go back later and kind of clean things up. And if you'd rather go straight for the triangulated mesh, then go for it. You'll just need to come in and merge them some things together. So create that point and then pop that point over. Now, when you get to the, the thickness part of it, you have, you can see we have a point right here. We'll come in and start to add our edges in here. You can see this is a different sort of plane. This is the inside of the big tooth here. You can come in here and something like that. Let's make this a triangle here. You can come in with shift and kind of smooth this out a little bit. We still need to fill this in, so I'm gonna just make that a triangle right there. And kind of up to the middle. And just like we've been doing with our other pieces, you know, you create the sort of outline and then you can kind of fill it back in. So I'll kind of work my way all the way around here. And then we can sort of work our way across. So this area is kind of raised and then it kind of goes back in. So we can kind of create something like that. You can see that blocks off two of these open areas. These are pretty to, pretty easy to fill in. When you build with a grid, it's pretty straightforward as far as what, what needs to attach where. Okay, so we just fill in that way, fill in this way. And then if you need to, you can add extra lines in there. For these, I would do the exact same thing. So these are more rounded. And so I would probably try to start going around it and get a, a enough resolution to actually get the shape that you, that you want. So make sure there's enough lines. I'd probably make maybe six or eight at a minimum. Okay, so instead of working our way down from the top, can add another one in there if you need to kind of clean it up a little bit and then we can use our technique where we extruded out the edges so holding down tab if we use our middle mouse button we can start to extrude out in both directions as we come up here we can start to smooth that out and i want to make sure i don't cut off this uh, point it would be pretty easy to just cut right through it by not having enough polygons there but I'm gonna to try to avoid that. Come in here and kind of fill that in. Maybe some triangles. Shift to kind of smooth it out while still having it right on the surface. And you can see we may need a we may need to have a, a few more 
lines coming in here, but then we can continue that down the surface. We can space these out a little bit, kind of give ourselves a little bit more of a look, but they're going to be that big on screen and we're really mostly concerned about the silhouette, then you're going to be fine with lower resolution on those. So go ahead, you've got one, two, three that you'll have to do on this side. And then you've got your main tooth here, which we've actually almost finished within the lesson. If we just did a couple more, we would be just probably almost there. And you can kind of smooth that out. Same thing down here. And this, the inside of this tooth is showing. Um, so I am going to build it versus something that's going to be strictly just inside. And so I'm going to make this a triangle right here. And then let's make this a triangle. One more point and we're almost there. There we go. So something like that. And then once you've got the three horns and the tooth done, the next thing we're going to do is look at how we can reuse some geometry from before to actually modify it a little bit and use it versus doing a complete retopo from scratch. We'll do that on the cowl. And so we'll take a look at that next.